My parents' generation and also many uh, Asian Americans come to the United States because it provides great educational opportunity. The, when I immigrated to the United States 43 years ago, uh, we were struggling to understand and speak and learn the culture and different language. So at the time, uh, not knowing exactly how the affirmative action was working, uh, it might have benefited some Asian Americans back then, but now our generation is grown up. We are raising our own family. Our children, they work hard and they make sure that their children have that same opportunity and they see their children not getting into the colleges because they're reverse discrimination. Um, so parents are now speaking up. And that was the case with 2014 with SCA5 movement. Parents said this is not the way that America should be, uh, you know, uh, rewarding hardworking students. So they stood up. Now they are speaking out. This is really important. It's a good lesson for us when we get involved and when we speak up advocate on behalf of our community's interests, the Asian Americans, the immigrant community. Now they are learning by getting involved in the political process. When we get together, raise our voices, we can make a difference. And that was the case in 2014 when the Orange Club or other organizations were formed just for the purposes of defeating SCA5. We have shown what political empowerment looks like when we get together. You know, the recent uh, Department of Justice ruling um, saying that Harvard University is in fact uh, employed unfair admissions practice, um, discriminating Asian Americans who are hardworking, high achieving students uh, from being discriminated from admitting, I mean, getting admissions to Harvard just because they are hard workers and just because what well, they're employing unfair practices such as you got to have a personality that fits uh, in order to be admitted into Harvard, I think those are really reverse discrimination. Uh, so the recent ruling by the Department of Justice saying that, yes, Harvard is in fact employing the unfair admissions practice is wrong, it needs to stop. And it's my understanding that it is further asking Yale and other universities to see if they are also employing the same unfair practices. So it is a good news, especially for the over 60 organizations that have come together to ask Department of Justice to look into this matter. It's a win for them. And I also have uh, worked and supported their efforts uh, when they first brought this issue to light. Uh, as you know, in 2014, before I was even elected to serve in the California State Assembly, this has become a big issue, especially in California when the California State Senate passed SCA 5, which would you know, discriminate students from being admitted to student, I mean, colleges based on their merits. So I stood with the parents, I fought with them, and in my uh, state assembly days in 2015, I also introduced uh, HR 17. That really calls on Harvard to end its unfair practices of uh, using certain different standards when it comes to Asian Americans. I truly believe admissions to colleges should be merit-based, not race or ethnicity or anything. So hardworking students should not be penalized for their hard work. What kind of message are we sending if we uh, discriminate students from hardworking and they don't get into the uh, colleges of their choice?